testing for COVID-19 has expanded to a few locations meant for emissions testing for your cars. WJZ is live at one of those sites in Glen Burnie. Paul Gessler shows us exactly how it works. Paul. Hi, Rick. Yeah, so you start by snaking your way through the parking lot here. The National Guard's going to direct you. You're going to make your way to a triage tent. There, they're going to ask you to stay in your car like we're doing right here. They're going to check your ID and make sure you have an appointment. This is one of three vehicle emissions testing sites open Wednesday across Maryland. The sites are limited because the tests are. Everyone who makes their way inside this garage is here because a health care provider ordered a test. I was uh, symptomatic for the last week, so I called my provider and uh, I told them about my symptoms. Armando Garcia has coughs, sweats, and trouble sleeping. And achy, the, my body's all achy. Garcia was in and out in about five minutes Wednesday morning after a nasal swab. Just a little discomfort when they put the swab. It looks like it touches your brain, but that's about it. Yeah, nothing, nothing major. Emissions inspection sites in Waldorf and Bel Air also open Wednesday as converted COVID-19 test sites. They join another location at the FedEx Field parking lot in Landover. Governor Hogan Tuesday spoke to the importance and shortage of tests. Well, without the tests, we really f are flying blind. You know, we're sort of guessing about where the outbreaks are. Garcia says his doctor will be notified of the results in three to five days. Nowadays, it's important, specifically because of if I'm if I'm uh, positive, I don't want to be out there contaminating people. Now, this and the Waldorf locations will be open limited hours Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. The Bel Air location, the same. Limited hours Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Again, you need an order from your health care provider and an appointment, or you will be turned away at these sites. For now, reporting live in Glen Burnie tonight, I'm Paul Gessler for WJZ.